welcome to Aussie Indian and uh, we have been promoting this uh, Sydney Dance Festival which is being held in the Easter weekend at Seymour Centre and uh, they are bringing some of the famous classical dancers from India. One of them is Vidha Lal. She is a Kathak uh, dancer. Vidha, welcome to Aussie Indian. Thank you so, thank you so much. Is this your first visit to Sydney? Uh, yes, um, no, because I have uh, been to this place before, but mm. yes, to perform here, this is my first visit. If yeah. you have come the second time, I'm sure you are, we have fallen in love with Sydney. Oh, definitely. It's a wonderful place to be here. Uh, the weather is amazing here. Uh, I've actually fallen in love with this place. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. Uh, maybe you can uh, tell us about your own background, you know, is... Uh, uh, dance in your family or is it something you picked up uh, this passion yeah uh, no in my family nobody is in this field my father is a journalist mm -hmm. uh, but he always wanted that his daughter should do something in extra curricular we right. are three sisters and all of us learned the art of Kathak from uh, Guru Srimati Gitanjali Lal and I learned this art uh, from National Institute of Kathak New Delhi oh, yes. And I learned this art form for 13 years. I did a professional course. And uh, yeah, and then I'm here. <laughs> yes. I started performing. Uh, I became professional at the age of uh, 16. And I was touring whole Europe. And uh, yeah, because it was my passion. And after that, it became some something I can't leave. It, is, it has become my breath. So it is uh, something now which I can't think that Vidha Lal means Kathak. Mm -hmm. So you can't separate me with, uh, from it at all. Yes, yes. And that's how, you know, my journey started. Uh, for learning any for art form and come to the stage to which you have come now, it takes a lot of uh, dedication, effort, uh, doesn't it? How, how many years has it been for you to reach this stage? Um, as I said, the 13 years was the only training part. Right. And after that, when I jumped into the field at the age of 16, I was the youngest in the group. But yes, uh, it takes lots and lots of effort to prove yourself because in any classical art form, uh, you need to prove yourself as a solo artist be because to become a solo artist is a difficult task. Mm -hmm. And my guru, Srimati uh, Gitanjali Lal, she's been very, very supportive. She always used to encourage me. She always used to push me that, yes, you can do with her. There is something in you which others don't. So go for it. And that's how, you know, that confidence, uh, her confidence actually brought me here. And uh, I would like to mention that I'm married to Abhimanyu Lal, who happens to be my guru's son. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's also a Kathak exponent. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we dance also duet. And we are here to perform duet. Excellent. And uh, of course, you have mentioned that uh, you have already toured Europe and you have performed in various different places. And uh, this, uh, 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 the very purpose of uh, coming to Sydney is to perform for the Sydney audience. Is there anything special that you are performing for the Sydney audience? Yes, definitely, because uh, we know that uh, Bharatnatyam as a dance form is very, very uh, popular here. So we have brought a Bharatnatyam piece which we'll be dancing on but we'll be dan dancing Kathak on it. Uh -huh. So that's the special piece which we have brought here and right. I'm sure the audience is going to like it. <laughs> yes, I was going to ask you actually, uh, we are aware of various forms including Kathak, Kuchpuri, Bharatanatya, Moini Artam and all these uh, uh, various dance forms. Uh, in fact, uh, I was wondering uh, that is there now these dance forms being transported from north to south to east to west in every part of India? Of course, because India is one, whether it's south or north. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, we believe in uh, definitely amalgamating such things. Uh, like a uh, few years back, we did a, a, a concert called Confluence, in which we performed on the Bharatanatyam music, and Bharatanatyam dancers performed on the Kathak music. Right. So this is how, you know, we kind of go more close to each other and to know more about the other dance forms and art forms as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is the speciality of Kathak? Kathak is a storytelling aspect, is very important. Mm -hmm. And because Katha kahe so Kathak kahave ah, sure. is the basic phrase for Katha. Because right. the word Kathak has come from the word Katha. Katha. And see. Katha means a story. Okay. So we are the storytellers. Okay. And uh, the, I would say 
the spontaneity, the improvisational aspect of Kathak is very distinct and that's how it is different than other dance forms. Mm -hmm. That we create things there and then. And the jugal bandi with the percussions yes. and um, spinning. And we wear lots and lots of gungurus as compared to other dance forms. Our gungurus are like in one feet we wear 150. So 300 ankle bells we wear. Mm. So these are the different uh, main features of Kathak which makes it different from other dance forms. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it your intention to spread this art uh, throughout the world by visiting places like Sydney, Europe and America and other places and uh, spread the fantastic vibrant Indian culture? Definitely this is uh, because when we are abroad we are like cultural ambassadors and we are there to promote our culture, our art form, and not only performing, like I made Guinness World Record for taking 103 spins in one minute. Really? So mm. I made Kathak already very, very famous. Okay. And uh, thanks to my guru, <laughs> the credit I would give it to her. But uh, yes, our motive, when we go abroad, we are not the entertainers. We are there to educate them about the Indian culture, uh, about that particular dance form, because I, I do Kathak, so definitely I will speak about Kathak. Mm -hmm. So yes, that is our mot motive. <laughs> and uh, there are a lot of uh, young dancers here, both male and female, I can assure you, in Sydney, uh, who want to learn Kathak and other forms of dance. So what kind of advice would you give? Because these people, they find it very difficult to balance work and uh, passion. Uh, oh, how do they go about it? I think one should always follow their heart because uh, balancing things is like uh, we also balance things. Uh, we when, when we perform, we have so much of distraction, but we are fo focused. So I think when you are into any classical form, you somehow become more focused. You are connected with your own uh, society, your own cul culture. And I think that helps you in building up your own uh, um, personality, mm -hmm. definitely. It somehow changes you. To, I mean, to the core, and you stand out even if you're talk, talking to somebody. You some kind, I mean, you somehow impress others because your body language asset becomes very different. So I would say, please stop running behind Bollywood and adopt <laughs> our culture, which is classical, and be classical. With that, thanks very much for talking to us, Indian. Thank you so much.